Hello YouTube and welcome to another Elasticsearch tutorial. So in this video I will show you how you can use some very interesting Chrome extensions for Elasticsearch. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first of all let me just make sure that Elasticsearch is up and running. So I will go to my console here. Here we go and let's see if the service is actually started. So I'll type the command systemctl status and let's check our Elasticsearch service. So here, as you can see, the service is active and running. So we can start actually using our Chrome extensions. So for that, you go to your Google search engine here and you type Elasticsearch Chrome extension. Okay. So the first actually extension that we'll be using is called Sense. So you scroll down till you found actually a GitHub repository. So this is it. It's called Stefan Bohr Sense Chrome. So you enter this github repo here we go then you can just download the repo here so you click on this little arrow here and you download it as a zip okay so once downloaded you open it and actually you decompress it. So this is our extension here, it's a zip file. So I will decompress it and I will get, as you can see, a folder called Sense Chrome Master, okay? So after that, I will close this window here. Then I will go to my settings for Chrome. So I will go to the settings and I will actually go to extension okay so here we go so first of all make sure that your developer mode is on because if it's off you will not see these three buttons here load and packed pack extension and update so when the developer mode is on, you can see these three buttons here. And I will click just the first one, load and packed. Okay, so you go to the folder where you have decompressed your extension. Here we go, and you select actually the unpacked extension, which is called Sense Chrome Master. So I will select this folder and I will hit open. Here we go, as you can see now, the extension is installed. And just in the right corner, you can find actually a little logo here for Elasticsearch Sense. So you click on this little icon here, et voila, this is your Chrome extensions running, okay? So welcome to Sense. So this is a quick intro, so you can just skip it if you want. So in the left side, you can see actually your REST requests. So with the GET, so by default you will get a GET search. And here the server name. So here I'm running the server on my local host, so it's good. But if you have server or not, in, in another address, you can just type it here. And in the right side, you can find actually your result. So in order to execute, for example, this query here, all you have to do is just to click this green icon here to send a request, as you can see. So I will click on it. And now you can see the result in JSON format 
in the right panel actually so you can see here the different uh, indexes that I have on my Elasticsearch server and of course you can export that in CSV file you can save your query here and you can see the history so if I click for example the history you can see all the queries that you have actually sent to the server and of course you have a little help here that will help you in order to get up and running with this sense extension and here you have the different uh, actually shortcuts that you can use in your keyboards in order to speed up the process so it's pretty pretty nice extension for Chrome that you can use in order to interact with Elasticsearch server so I use it all the time in order to test or to see just the queries for searching in an in index I want okay so that was just a quick actually uh, overview of this sense extension so let's move on I will show you another very interesting actually also extension for Chrome it's called head so I will return back to my Google search engine here so when you type Elasticsearch Chrome extension you will get it here it's called head so it's Chrome Google extension so I'll just click on that link here and here as you can see I am inside the Chrome web store so this is our extension so this is our view you can see the reviews and support so let's install it and see what we can get from it so you have to actually click on this add to Chrome button and you can just add this extension so it check in and after the check is finished the extension is installed and as our previous extension there is a little icon here Elasticsearch head that has been added to this toolbar so you can just click on it et voila this is our Chrome extension running so the first thing that you can notice is actually the address for our server so by default it's localhost and the port is 9200 so you can connect the to it just by clicking this uh, little button here and just beside it you can find the health of our cluster so here it's yellow normally it should be green but as I am running in just one node I just get the yellow color here okay and of course in the first page you can see the different indexes that I have on my cluster so here for example I have a cluster named people a cluster named movies and a cluster named clients and as you have seen each cluster is composed of different slices called shards so here for each index I have a five shards Okay, so you can see here you can see them here in the first page so there are a lot of buttons that you can use here in order to get requests from our cluster here so here just on the right corner you can find the info button so you can just click on it and you get an overview of your cluster so the cluster name, the cluster UUID, the belt number, the hash, the date so all those kind of information you can get it just by clicking 
buttons in our Chrome extension here. Okay. You can of course refresh if you have if you have made changes to your cluster. You have also the size of each cluster as you can see here. You have your indices. So I have here a total of three. So the size and the number of docs. But the most interesting thing here is the requests. So here you can see in this uh, tab here, you can put the different DSL queries. So DSL stands for domain specific language. It, it, it is actually the language used in order to query your Elasticsearch. So you can use the different method here. So there is the post, so get, put, head, or delete. So you have all the available things here. So I can, for example, query the whole cluster with get requests. So I'll just click and you get the same result that you have from the previous Chrome extension. Okay. So those are very simple to install, very easy to use Chrome extensions that you can use whenever you want to test your cluster or get result as quickly as possible without going to your console. Okay. So it's actually a GUI graphical user interface that interacts with your cluster in order to get a bunch of information. Okay. So that was just a brief introduction to those two very important Chrome extension that you can use in, in your everyday interaction with your Elasticsearch cluster. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.